lads. And they put their brains into rock and roll. And I formed a band with some mates of mine, not the least of which was Stuart Sutcliffe, my very best friend. We met in our college, Stuart and I. And we bought it like concrete, and he was like the brother I never had, see? And still, ha, brilliant Peter, light is above the rest. And the fact that he wasn't a musician didn't matter, Stu was in the band. <laughs> the reason it didn't matter? Just been introduced to one, James Paul McCartney. <laughs> A talent that you know what, he was amazing, alright? He could play anything, trumpet, piano, guitar, although I'll be honest with you, I didn't feel the earth move. <laughs> I would come later. And he brings along this young friend of his, little George Harrison. What's that, George? <laughs> oh, he's got a guitar. You're in. <laughs> and off he went playing club after club, last but not least, because he had a drum kid, the Moody and Broody. Beat Bass. There we were, friends, August. 1960, the newly christened Silver Beatles head off to Hamburg, Germany. Ha, oh, Hamburg! I can still taste the beer and the blood. We were raised in Liverpool, but we grew up in Hamburg. And we went there with one thing in our minds. Other than the girls!